snap caps loaded up. Mm. All right, looks like extraction's happening fine. It's an injection. Yep, all right. Let's take out the bolt and see what's going on with that injection. So just looking at the bolt face after taking it out. Focus, focus. Okay. So if you look at it, you got a bunch of brass fouling all over the place, but it seems to be really, really stuck in and around the plunger right here. So I'm just assuming that it's dirty and that all this fouling is kind of getting caught up and not allowing it to pop forward and eject. But we're going to break this down a little bit farther just to be sure. Alright, so Brownells typically has a tool for sale. And you throw it over this. It has a little latch that comes over. It grabs onto the back of this. You pull the latch back. And it pulls it up to unscrew it. And get your uh, firing pin out. I don't have the luxury of having that tool, so I'm going to show you another way to do it. I put a quarter into a vise. Ejector out. Um, I am going to punch this pin, which might send this plunger flying. So I am going to set up a catch using this. <laughs> Let's see, this is set up a little bit better. So. I have this set up to where hopefully that just launches into this guy. Controls that that going a little bit. So I'm not on my hands and knees for the next hour looking for the damn plunger. Gonna soak that in some cleaner so we get any of that removed okay so I let that soak for a little bit it's not it's not really doing much um, I'm going to fill up my ultrasonic cleaner and uh, get that in there and hopefully some of those little micro vibrations could help shake that a little bit loose I'm gonna set it up to where that piece will not get lost inside of that thing either um, yeah bunch of dudes. Okay, so I put it through the ultrasonic cleaner, and you can see a little bit better, but there is big old chunks of brass stuck right around the outside of this, and it is not allowing it to move. It is seized, so I'm going to sit here and work on it until I get all that brass out and that thing comes flying out. It should be fun. set this up in my vise so I could use the punch to push that plunger a little bit farther back and I could see the scrap of brass <coughs> that's stuck and I could probably get to it a little bit better from there.
gonna try and just keep giving this thing some movement. There you go. So now we're just gonna go through and make sure that that part's really, really cleaned out. That way it don't get stuck again. Let's just kind of show you guys. <clears throat> so, once that thing punched out from here, all of this there's big boy there's another big chunk there's another big chunk there was lots of brass in there all right so we're gonna put the bolt back together and go through a function test Beautiful. All right, guys, <clears throat> got her working as you can see. Uh, kind of a pain in the butt. The ultrasonic cleaner helped out a little bit, gave me a little bit of extra movement. I tried picking it out with a little pick, uh, all the all the brass fouling, and it wasn't quite working well enough to get enough movement on that extractor. So. I noticed that whenever I pushed the extractor back in as far as it would go and come out some fouling would come out so that's why I did the little tap tap on that to pretty much get the vibrations through knock all that stuff to the front and as you can see it popped out I went through and did a very thorough cleaning on the inside of that <coughs> chamber where the extractor sits so when it goes back it won't get lodged up again um, the only times that really happens uh, with your uh, or sorry I kept saying extractor ejector uh, that will happen with your ejector if you're using a spicy round so it pushes it back and all that brass filling goes in or if you just don't thoroughly clean your gun enough um, so make sure you're cleaning your guns we'll see you guys next time